Hey guys, this is Battle Productions, and welcome to our episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode, we went, basically, to, we got, got here to this town and went to the library, that's fun and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go and continue the main story, but first, what I want to do is I want to go back to the uh, desert area. Where was that? Right here, Rogan Town? Because I found out that Delta Scizor has a Mega Evolution, and in order to get the Mega Stone, you need to have Scizor in, in your party which we didn't have, have at this point, and talk to this guy. It's like, young one, the Pokemon you have in your party is awfully rare, isn't it? It looks very similar to the stone I have. Why don't you take it? So now we got the Delta Scizorite. So that was the first time we've ever used the taxi in this game. So that was actually quite interesting, to say the least. Now we have to go back to the taxi. I don't even know where we came from. But yeah, I wanted to start off the video there just because of the fact that it's like, okay, I, I, I could use a taxi, you know, show off the taxi service, and not only that, be able to, uh, you know, just uh, get the, the nice mega stone for our Delta Scizor. So let's go back to this Utira town. Okay, so now we have the mega stone. Let's equip the mega stone. Let's see, that's the medicine bag. I don't want that. So now I want to use Delta Scizor. Now we have that. That's pretty amazing. I'm not sure what it boosts. I'm assuming uh, just attack, but you never know. And another thing was that if we go to the far west, uh, what was it, the far west room, we can find that book. I, I, I missed it before. But the Fighting Compiendum. There it is. Like, how do we... The Fighting Compienda. Wasn't that the one? Manipulating the stop market? No. Wait, where's the book? Oh, whoa! What just happened? Whoa. What the heck? Um, looks like a Pokemon. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, we missed this the first time around. That's very interesting. Let's go. Oh, his baby eyes. You know what? We'll paralyze it and then start throwing some Ultra Balls at it. So it's a Delta Badu. Okay, we caught it. Delta Badu. What is it? Just a pure ghost type? Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's not even a ghost. It's Dark Fairy. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I, I, I was not expecting that. Living in the snow. Let's see. Top secret information. Certain Pokemon have a, a rare quality that recently discovered this quality can affect the strength of their moves and defenses and stuff. It is the type. Yeah. It's not very interesting. Uh, yeah, that was that book, though. How do we get this book? The Fighting Compiendum. We need that for that quest, but can we just not take it out? Or do we just have to tell, where the, pers do we just have to tell the person where it is? I don't know. We'll have to find out later. But yeah, I found out where that was. I don't know where the other book is, but I don't know. So let's head back into this abandoned wing. And let's put Cleaver up top. We're going to be using our new Mega. Let's go. You should have me back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. And you got a lamp, which is actually bad against this thing. But good thing we have Mega Evolution, and we're going to go Night Slash. Oh, man. Oh, it lived. No! Oh, Inferno. Good thing it went for that. It has like 100 power, but it's like 50% accurate. <coughs> okay, now it's time for Spirit Tomb. That would stay. Uh, actually, that was a kind of a bad idea. Uh, let's just use a full heal. I got some full heals off screen. Ominous Wind. Uh, let's go for Icicle Crash. And we almost take it down. Not bad. And then we take it down. Boom. You should leave while you still can. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's use a Moo Moo Milk and recover Cleaver's HP. And off screen, I did a little bit of training, as you can tell, because all my Pokemon are level 50. Let's see, what do we got here? I don't think there's anything new on Cleaver. Pudding, we learned Crunch. That's nice. Uh, yeah, Thunderbolt learned Thunderbolt. And uh, Vulcan learned Flamethrower. And I also taught Aerial Ace through TM. Uh, I don't think Phantom learned anything new. And Jake didn't learn anything new. So... Yeah, that's the team right there. Let's put Phantom up top now. Just because it's probably the best Pokemon to fight in here. And what is this? A Miss Magius! Cool. It's a cool Pokemon. Let's see, and then we have Litwick. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep moving. Oh, that room is full of ancient spirits! Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Scary spirits. Whoa, okay. Let's go, Shadow Ball! With our Mega, of course. 
Yeah, that guy's gone. Yeah, the Phantom is just unstoppable. When it's a Mega, that's, that's like unfair. Especially with Shadow Ball. Let's see, let's talk to you. I didn't hear what you, I didn't see what you, uh, I couldn't hear or see what you were trying to say. So, yeah, sorry, but, sorry, lady. But, this Dusclops is pretty bulky. I don't know if, if, I'm pretty sure this will live a Shadow Ball. No, it doesn't. Okay. Now it's time for Drift Blim. Uh, Thunderbolt, you'll come out. And we'll go for the Thunder Punch, because that is really powerful on um, Thunderbolt, because its attack is a lot better than its special attack. So, yeah, I'm going to be using Thunder Punch more often. I just noticed that. I'm like, huh. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> let's see. Let's move over here, and okay, let's go through this door. What the? Oh, we got an escape rope and a wild Pokemon. Gengar! Yeah, let's just take this thing out. Goodbye. Okay. And now we got an escape rope. That's nice. And another wild encounter. No. Stop it. Are we all here? You see that glow over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly had to do with the prophecy. Sounds like a load of rubbish, in my opinion. I doubt there even was a prophecy. It's probably just a legend. Anyways, go ahead. Get this over with. Of course, it's going to work with us. Oh, I want you to look at that. Who dares wake me? What was that? What's happening? This has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. What do we have here? House guests? If you're here after the prophecy, you need to work harder than that. That's right. I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you. I'm the... Wait. I was the prophet of Arceus and the Oracle of Delphox. I've been preaching since the Hoenn was created. If you want to know the secret of the, fu the future, you have to take it by force. Wait, who is this, like a guy or lady? I couldn't tell from the sprite. Uh, that looks like a guy, but he has Christmas colors for eyes. Okay. And he has a clay doll. Cool. Clay doll is an interesting Pokemon. It's pretty strong. Oh. You're gonna... Okay. <laughs> Switch out. Yeah, that's fine. That just killed your Jellicent. Uh, let's just keep Phantom in, you know? Oh, that's your Mega. That is your Mega. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. Dang it. Oh, Phantom's probably down. Yup. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. You don't have anything else of priority. Hmm. I know Pudding is a beast, so it can take anything from this guy. So we'll go for Crunch. Embargo, really? That's what you're gonna do? Well then. Now it's time for Delphox. That's... That's a scary Pokemon, but we'll go Jake. And we need another water type move. But good thing we can use Crunch, since, you know, it is a psychic type. It's not stab, but Jake does have a lot of attacks, so. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, look at that! Jake is a beast! Let's see, now it's time for Clay Doll, the one we just was about to take out. So let's just water gun take it out. Goodbye, Jake's didn't get the experience. And now it's time for Aegis Slash. Uh, let's go Vulcan! Vulcan, let's go! With that flamethrower! This guy's not even gonna stand. Oh, King Shield. Well. Whatever. Flamethrower, and it transformed to its attack form. That is not nice. Oh, no, that was the shield form. Shield, attack, I don't even know. I don't know the forms anymore. I, I really don't care about that Pokemon. Eh, <sighs> not bad. All right, I'll spill the beans. The prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't even know what the real prophecy says? That's right. I'm not going to read you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy to misinterpret. I don't want to be that oracle, you know? Hope you're ready. Ahem. The first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero su will succeed. Undefeated in Torin, they, they'll move on victorious. The last secret piece of information is that in the end, the hero will join the Infernal Cult and betray their friends. What? That's basically... Wait, what? One of us is going to join the Infernal Cult, which is a new cult we never heard of before. Yeah, why? We can't, we can't leave us like that. Who's that hero? How do we, how can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Who's turning? I call Damien. It's gonna be Damien. No, watch it. Will be us. Uh, that'll be something. Well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. That reminds you of what author Oh Frank Baum did when introducing. Oh, shut up. Can you? How can you stay so calm? Well, we were just told one of us is a traitor. This isn't a time to joke around. Well, he did say you'll get rid of the Colts, right? 
I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? You can use that to your advantage. But anyways, people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Let me know if you need any more help with, well, whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes. Nora, listen, don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic, Damien. We just got told we're going to lose. People are going to die. Worrying about this doesn't isn't going to help. We need to work together. If this, we're going to make this make us turn on each other, we might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien. You know, if I were an infernal cultist in disguise, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about tactic, do you? Not, mister, I ran my mouth in front of a cultist and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. Oh, he just got served. Oh. Nora, please stop. You know you know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in Sonata City, Michael. There's a gym there, and we, we'll need its badge in order to dive. Wow, Nora, that was kind of rough. Why did I say all that? I don't know what came over me. I feel off for him. I'm gonna go to apologize. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up! Alright. Who's gonna be the traitor? Who is gonna be the traitor? It... Ah, uh, my opinion. That would be interesting if we become the traitor. And then we're like, okay, we just turned to the dark side. But no, I don't think that's going to happen. So, yeah. Never know, though. Let's see. Let's put up a repel just so we can get out of here without facing any new Pokemon. Uh, let's just use our max repel. Our very own one max repel. And... These books are a little annoying to maneuver around. In super speed. And... Okay, really? Fine. Just let me through. Oh my gosh! This maze! But yeah, that's an interesting story. I... Oh. Uh, let's not do that. And now, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with that quest with the library books. Because, I mean, I saw the book that one guy wanted, but do I just tell him it's... Oh, it's in the far west uh, corner, you know? I don't know what house that is either. Let's see, was it this house? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. It's not this one. Hmm. Oh, there's Satori Wada's tombstone. What's is this the right house? No. Hmm. What house was it? I'm. I swear I'm not crazy. Maybe it was this one. No. Maybe. Let's talk to you. Oh, there we go. Fighting Compiendum. Oh, you found it? Back row. Oh, okay. We got a Cactor Knight. Sweet. So we got one of those book quests. I don't think I found the other one. So, yeah, we're just not going to worry about that one. So, yeah, we got a Cactor Knight. Maybe the other one gives you another Mega Stone. I don't think we'll need it, in my opinion. So, yeah, if you want to go find that other book, be sure to do that. I probably won't. Let's head down this way. There's a rock here. I was thinking maybe they might give us a hidden item or something. But now we're at Route 8. What Pokemon are here? I want to know. Wigglytuff. Okay, that's, that's somewhat interesting Pokemon. Really? Wigglytuff? I want something else. Give me something else. Something that's interesting. Oh! Houndoom! Houndoom and Rapidash. Let's get out of here. But sweet! I, I like the Pokemon here. I like it. Let's see, can we get this? Oh, what is... That's not an item? Okay. It's a decoy! They're trying to ambush us with Pokemon! Oh. Let's see. No. Oh, what the heck? They were... Oh, a Chansey! We can get a Chansey here. Sweet! I could use a Chansey. And let's just throw an Ultra Ball at it. I don't know, I probably won't use it, but I don't know. I, I just think it's cool that they have a Chansey here. Ah, No. No, don't... No. Don't tell me it's going to be one of those Pokemon that I had... Where I just completely struggle in catching this thing. No, no, come on. No, just get in the Ultra Ball. No! That was close. Oh. 
and threw its lucky punch at me. Dang it! Get in the ball! Chansey! Okay, how many Pokeballs am I going to throw until I catch it? Seriously. Its evasion's so high, it's not like I can just go to Electivire and then just go for a Thunder Wave. Because it's not going to happen. Come on, really? Get in the ball. Am I seriously going to waste all my Ultra Balls on this Chansey? Gosh dang it! At least I have it in super speed here. Now it's evasions. Uh, it's by four stages now. Great. Or is that its max? I have no idea. Now it's getting harder to catch. You know what? We're throwing a friend ball. It wants to be friendly, so we will be its friend. No, we almost got it though. Ah, uh, great ball. Go. And it almost went in a great ball. Which means odds are if I just threw an Ultra Ball there, I might have caught it. Ugh. Really? Really? How could Phantom be asleep in all this? That's been like 20 turns. <laughs> Come on, Chansey! What is this thing's catch rate? Yeah, its evasiveness cannot go any higher. Okay, we're throwing another friend ball, because it wants to be our friend. Maybe. No. Not quite. Let's throw a timer ball. I don't think it's that powerful yet, but we'll find out. Oh, we caught it! Okay. Cool. We wasted about probably $8,000 worth of uh, Pokeballs, but hey, we got a Chansey. Was that worth it? Probably not. Let's talk to you. Oh, this guy wants to fight. Well, yeah, we'll fight you. Oh, we're asleep. I forgot. Okay, we woke up. There we go. And there we go. We got our experience. We beat this guy up. And we got our chancy money back. Now, what is over here? We'll fight you. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's go Shadow Ball. It's going to go for the Sword Stance. Not real concerned about that. Phantom level 52, now it's time for Vespaquen. Uh, let's go Vulcan. And we'll go for the Flamethrower. Goodbye. Alright. Now we have a little guy right here. Let's see if he'll do anything. Oh, what? I was trying to talk to the little guy. Oh, he wants to fight. And he has a, a Hariyama level 49. When? A little ninja kid. Has a Hariyama at level 49. You know what? Let's go Mega Evolution. But dang, talking about all these like hikers and all these like other trainers we faced before, this guy has probably just started his journey and he had a level 49 Hariyama. That's pretty insane. And it shows how bad these other trainers are because, oh, okay. But yeah, it, <laughs> it just shows how bad all these other trainers are just because, you know, this guy, this little kid is probably better than all the other people that are older than him. Let's see, Meow Stick. He's a prodigy, except he can't beat the other prodigy that's us. So, Shadow Sneak, there we go, goodbye Meow Stick. This looks like the right way to go and I don't want to go the right way because I want to see if there's anything else here. And there's a chancy little 40, I would have rather had one at level 40. Uh, let's see, what's this house? Let's talk to you. I heard there's a TM for for a rare weather in inducing move in the library. There was? Oh yeah, didn't we get that? It was a uh, uh, new moon. Increases the power of ghost and, uh, and dark moves, I think it was. Yeah. Cool. So what is over here? We got another person here. Do you, have, do you mind if we battle? No, not at all. I'll just beat you up. Okay, let's see. Shadow Ball, let's watch him have like a Mega Ampharos. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Hmm, Thunder Punch really didn't do much. Shadow Sneak to finish it off. There we go. Phantom is paralyzed, but Phantom is at level 53. And he's starting to get away with levels because Phantom is so amazing. We're gonna go to Cleaver. Cleaver, let's go. Let's go with that. Oh, didn't mean to go for Psycho Cut, but he went for Detect anyways. So let's go Icicle Crash. And that should kill that Skeptile, because Skeptile's pretty frail on the defensive side. 
And yeah, we got a lot of experience there. Excuse, excuse me, you cheated. Yeah, sure I did. Let's see. Got a bug catcher, dude. Oh, we got HMO2 fly? Huh. We don't have fly, though, because, uh, well, we don't really have uh, a way to use fly. Cause I don't, can Charizard learn fly? Can he learn fly? Oh, he can. Oh, I guess we could use fly. I was thinking because, you know, his typing changed. That could have been a problem. But hey, we're in a new town. Ah, Miara Town, my favorite place in Torin. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful, serene, and built over the shining sea. And of course, the World Islands now rest just a route away. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll leave this town for last. At least, at last, the sea is awakening once more, something to bring its king its crown. Oh, is that a guy? It looks like a girl. Okay, well. Alright, we made it to Murara Town. So yeah, next episode, we'll explore Murara Town, then we'll go chase down that ab abyssal cult person. So... Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new for some more Pokemon Insurgents. See you guys later.